student today we will learn the chapter differentiation student as so many things i we have already learned in the chapters limit continuity and differentiability so what you have learned in the chapter differentiability using the continuity and limits okay so first you should be learn that then come to this topic differentiation okay now i am going to be tell you the topic this topic derivative at a point if you have learned already differentiability limit continuity and differentiability then you should understand this topic otherwise you will be not able to understand this okay let at uh, any point here x point it is any point value of x okay now any other point let here is c then it is fx it is fc so taking of the slope of this chord fx minus fc upon x minus c y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 and if uh, we can say x tends towards c if this point tends towards c means this difference is very less at this point this is exist finitely okay if this is exist finitely then we can say limit of this exist then it is called the derivative of the differentiation at point fx when it is x equal to c okay now we have to write this let f x be a real function defined on an open interval a to b and let c belongs to this interval then fx is said to be differentiable differentiated at or derivative at x equal to c if what you will learn here limit x tends towards c f c f x minus f c upon x minus c exist finitely okay and this limit is called the derivatives or differentiation 
of fx at equal to c and it is denoted by f dash c or dfc or dy dx with respect to dx of fx here at x equal to c okay so student we can say f at c this is fx minus fc upon x minus c x tends to over c okay so student this is also known as lhd or rhd in the previous lectures we have already known so it is not new right so you have already learned this values in the previous lectures and what is this what is this this is slope of tangent also right so student it is also known as delta y by delta x delta x tends towards zero differential with respect to x of function y delta y this one is delta y and this one is delta x okay so it is just as a rate measurement also it is the slope it is the rate measurement it is derivative as a rate measurement okay so it is also known as first principle it is also known as first principle okay so when we use lhd or rhd or rate measure then it is known as first principle tangent of the slope right so so many functions which are differentiable within its domain we can find the differentiation or differential coefficient right so student now first principle means fx minus fa upon x minus a when x tends towards a okay y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 when x tends towards a when lhd we use f a minus h minus f a upon a minus h minus a h tends towards zero rhd f a plus h minus f a upon a plus h plus minus a okay so using this limit this is the first principle also this is rhd is also first principle and using this limit we can find the rate also we can find the differential or differential coefficient or derivative these all are these values okay so we can write this way also d by dx of y function or d by dx of fx function 
or we can write f dash x or we can write y1 it is first order derivative first order derivative differential of y we can represent also y1 or f dash x okay so this way we can use this function right these are the this way we can uh, use all this formula <coughs> now using this formula first derivative or differential differentiation from first principles so many exponentials and trigonometrical functions can be derived for all values of x in their domain and we can find out the formula okay so in the next video we will learn go to the formulas list of formulas okay thank you for watching